Unable to launch any kind of counter-offensive, the Kiev regime has switched to a strategy of nuclear terror. Over the past week, Ukrainian forces have significantly intensified attacks on nuclear power plants and strategic civilian facilities in the Donetsk, Zaporizhia and Kherson regions, as well as on the territory of Russia. The greatest concern, however, is caused by the constant shelling by Ukrainian forces of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, which fell under control of Russian forces in late February and which operates with a local staff under Russian control. On August 11th, at least 10 shells launched by the Ukrainian army landed in the area of the plant. One of the Ukrainian shells fell just 10 meters from the radioactive substance storage facility. The strikes were carried out by MLRS and heavy artillery from the right bank of the Dnieper, from the Ukrainian positions of Nikopol, Marganets and Tomakovka. The thermal power plant and the equipment of the pools of the cooling system of nuclear reactors were partially damaged. A fire station nearby was also shelled. The critical infrastructure of the station was not affected. Having lost control of the largest power plant in Europe, Kiev tries its best to prevent Russia from controlling it. At the moment, there is no threat of a global nuclear catastrophe. The Kiev regime would need to launch a tactical nuclear strike to damage the station's nuclear reactors. Thus, Kiev is trying to turn the plant into an exclusion zone. In the event of destruction of the dry storage of spent nuclear fuel or isotope storage for radiography located on the territory of the plant, the immediate area around may be contaminated. This would significantly complicate the use of the plant. Ukrainian forces are targeting the power lines and cooling systems in order to provoke an emergency shutdown and damage the power lines. In this case, the whole of Ukraine would suffer electricity shortages. Shutdown of the plant is a trump card in Russia's hands. On the other hand, Kiev uses it as an argument to blame Russia for nuclear terrorism. While accusing Russia of shelling its own forces in the plant, Ukraine appeals to the UN Security Council to introduce a demilitarized zone in the region.